everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about my doll clothes making hobby and some of the principles that I have. Like maybe it's not exactly principles but you'll see what I mean. So one of the things that I really like to do when I'm making the clothes for dolls is that I like to reuse some human clothes that are um, basically either they are just standing in my own wardrobe unused or I just find uh, clothes from thrift shops that look completely new that are just um, probably somebody's uh, emotional purchase and they have not used it and when they have other stuff for their emotions they bring it to thrift shop especially in the times we know that uh, overproducing is a big problem in the world then I think this is one way to um, reuse those uh, things especially I mean it is done for humans why not dolls right so I like to show you some examples about this what I'm doing now the simplest thing is a little on a little somni girl here and what she's wearing this kind of cute little a uh, lacy, lacy dress here and this is basically I'm gonna remove it from her for you to see better this is basically a shirt sleeve that is cut off with um, zigzag scissors and there is this little ribbon to close it and this is the simplest of doll dress you can make. You have to add the ribbon. And maybe I think I have sewn it smaller. Yeah, I have actually hand sewn it smaller. Because most of my dolls are smaller size. But anyway, I could still use it as a sleeve. See? <laughs> and it has this really cute um, lace here see on edge and that was already there before uh, it became a doll dress so this is one example then another one is tiny kitty here and she's wearing this fabulous da dance dress which is made out of this kind of uh, satin silk I don't know morning robe you see it's it only took one sleeve there's still plenty of left for whatever plans I have for it and these things are like if you know a good thrift shop it's like maybe a euro maybe a dollar if you're in US in America or <laughs> So, and this is just, this is completely new fabric, there's really, I don't know if it has ever been used, I, there's no sign of it ever been used. And a little bit lace, and it's just good as any purchased fabric. Actually, it's probably better that I could purchase from fabric shop, because fabrics are pretty expensive these days, so reusing stuff is cool. So some other examples, I have this little Polarena doll and she's wearing this white, white dress, you can see there are some lace, there are some little folds sewn in and it's just beautiful, really light dress and what I did was that I took this shirt and I used this middle part here so basically 
I use the lace, the fold and even the skirt part. I didn't have to uh, make myself. There is some elastic in so it's even, you know, flexible, more flexible. But just look at this shirt, all this lace, all those folds. And this is really pretty, like I wish I had the life where I could just wear this type of clothes every day. But I'm living in the country, my main activities are like walking and playing and grooming my dogs, carrying the firewood, making the fire, making the food, cleaning the house, doing gardening, like you don't do any of this with this shirt and I think these days a lot of people have those very practical lives where just it isn't you don't use high fashion or really nice clothing for this you just um, th this these clothes will just be ruining those activities but we still love our fashion we still want to have those beautiful things like, I'm wearing a dress right now that my sister gave me because she really liked it and she bought it and then she didn't like it <laughs> and she never actually wore it, so she gave it to me. So, um, and there is some problem with it. It's really transparent. The bottom part is really transparent, so I need to figure out if I can wear it anywhere else than in YouTube where you only see the top part or we'll see. Now... And this cute little dress you see saw so just now is a part of the double costume for this size dolls. And it's gonna be the, um, the snow white and rose red uh, costumes. And for rose red I have found this beautiful, beautiful silky, really fair, transparent um, material. The shirt is really cute. It has those cutest tiny buttons that I can use also. And this is gonna be another part, another dress this time for another doll this size. And also, and again, you may go to club with that, but it, you know, some people, I don't know, maybe some people wear clothes like that at home in parties, but. Mostly you can see it's completely unused. There is no marks of um, being used much or at all. And they are still they are still having the signs in to check out what kind of material it is. Like this one is um, oh, it's too tiny again. Mm. Okay, this is 100% polyester, but still, you know, st if you're reusing it, it's still good. I think the white one is part cotton and part viscosis. So it's, um, the things are really so new that the signs are intact. They are still readable very clearly. There's no signs of any, any usage at all. So some other examples, here is this double sided cute little dress, again this uh, purple part is made out of the human shirt that was never used, I actually purchased it myself, I never used it, and the, under the other side is, they were like pants which I did use but uh, you know with pants you the, the marks of using them are going to be around the knees maybe on the bot buttocks but otherwise it was they were really loose also so there were areas that were completely like new and also those cute little socks this was a shirt as well so that one then we have this little girl here, this Joy from 
model and friends and she's wearing the dress that is made out of a um, kitchen curtain which uh, my mom uh, purchased a long time ago I don't think we ever used it as a curtain it has been used before you can see it's not quite that bright it has this little bit of vintage look but I think it's really cute pattern and yeah this is really uh, the lace is new because um, I wanted a little bit of extra but otherwise <coughs> I think it looks so cute on her it is all really like it is it feels very clean like you know you can the, the stuff like bedding and kitchen curtains and stuff like that they are, these are 100% cotton so you can really wash it in your washing machine with really strong heat and really strong you know um, foregrounds something like that I am washing by hand if I pay, buy from the thrift shop even if it looks completely unused I still wash them by hand if necessary sometimes the thrift shop stuff has like this uh, thrifty smell I think they use some kind of products to um, to kill all the bacteria on and all, then they all stand there so there is kind of this weird smell so I s wash them and if possible I put them outside to air so they end up with really nice smell in the end so um, yeah that's a little bit of trouble you have to make take with this kind of stuff now some other examples we have I have this little Elo Vinto who is currently closed as um, Alice in Wonderland and this dress also is made out of human shirt it has this gorgeous gorgeous embroidery and it's just the right kind of blue and i think it's just it's really nice to find again the same shirt uh, gave me the material for tights as the other doll and yeah this is something that kind of okay we have snaps here and the lace is new lace was new purchased new so then the other thing here is that Chris Marie Fitzpatrick as a red queen and this fabric this uh, poker fabric this is specially purchased from Aliexpress for this costume because uh, this is just so specific you don't find anything like that just randomly in the thrift shop or in the fabric shop even but Aliexpress is like this wonderland where you can find everything but the um, lining for it uh -oh. I lost the shoe they don't want my dogs to eat them so, but the lining is from human shirt again, completely unused shirt, and this again the uh, tights, the same shirt that the other tights were, but this skirt was actually it's a part of the I don't know if it was a dress or it was a top because I know I have used it for something else and there was lots of it so I think it must be a uh, skirt uh, like a dress but this is all like this was all together already and I used it as a skirt for this costume the lining everything was already there I just pretty much put um, the uh, what do you call this the belt part and it makes this wonderful, wonderful, fluffy skirt from a little queen here. And the last in this 
show from this collection is a white rabbit Halloween wild as white rabbit and again this vest I don't know if you can see there's a little printed pattern on it I don't think you can see it but it's it's made out of kitchen curtain also the shirt with all this wonderful gorgeous embroidery again old kitchen curtain that my mom purchased and I just reusing now because I'm not really into decorating the house so much and again the insides of the ears and the tights are made out of my tights that I think I used a few times or I, at least I tried them on but it's just um, it wasn't something that I could use a lot so and it has this cute pattern on top which it is pretty hard to get to doll clothes otherwise I think the shirt is also the part that isn't embroidered is also from the same uh, kitchen curtain that the, the embroidered part is so yeah that is that are the these are the examples again and also this uh, skirt this is also heavily embroidered the same kitchen curtain really nice piece I really love this kind of fabrics and I love to use them and again something like this you probably could buy either from the curtain shop or from the fab fabric cho shop but these are very expensive these are like 20 euros per meter or something which you don't want to necessarily use for dolls especially I don't think I plan to sell this one so this part maybe I will trade it away maybe I will do something with it but I don't know right now they are just standing in my collection and looking fabulous because that's why we have dolls when we have no reason to wear all this beautiful stuff unless we do like YouTube video <laughs> then we don't get to experience all this we, we don't have anywhere to use those beautiful fashions and so uh, why not keep on dolls and I have some other examples of fabric that I have used or plan to use this beautiful doll sized whoops um flower pattern how cute is that we still have the pocket attached and this used to be a shirt a woman shirt i think the one with the collar collar shirt and again it isn't really very fashionable anymore and it could totally be just like um something vintage because it's cotton, cotton doesn't, you don't always un, uh, know if it's not used, if it's not washed heavily. The cotton doesn't get old that fast, so if it's even vintage and it's unused, you don't even understand that it's older. So, then there's this completely new one. Oh, this is a scarf. Okay. Oh, this is a piece of fabric that I got from from my sister and again beautiful pattern I did think it's a scarf or a shirt so this is actually a piece of fabric I think my sister purchased so beautiful thing but not exactly uh, something for this video but well it is what it is then this shirt that I have actually used a little bit myself but I don't know if it went in in the uh, laundry or I just get I am getting more sensitive for stuff that kind of mm, goes around my body so I'm not wearing it any longer and again beautiful fabric I do want to make a skirt for one of the fashion dolls out of it because I have some wonderful patterns for this and this is something different you know we like to do 
these flower patterns for uh, for our dolls, but this is uh, something else, like this Scottish kind of um, um, pattern. Then there's a fake letter that came from, again, from my sister. She had this vest that she ended up not using, and this is beautiful letter for shoes, for maybe the, this kind of... Uh, also best for for dolls i think it goes beautifully with this fabric i can make a costume out of it and then i just found from my stash some of these cute little vintage children stuff completely unused and look at this pattern how cute is that this is the cutest thing Okay, so my dad came to tell me something, sorry. Now, I was talking about this cute little vintage children. It's an apron, I don't even know, I think my mom has bought it. So there's a part of this cute little pink fabric. There's this cutest, cutest pattern. How cute is that? Like, also those kind of... Um, this part here can be used for something, I'm sure. And the other one is this one. Like, look at that. How cute is that? Again, some kind of vintage, I don't know if, it, if it's a children dress or a, a vest for grown-up, but this cutest pattern. And again, completely unused completely new I guess or maybe it was just made at some kind of time when they went out of the fashion and and my, my, my mom actually wore this type of stuff it was fashionable when she was a young mother and this is really light really well breathing fabric especially if you're like carrying a child, if you're caring about with them, caring the children, taking care of children and it just, um, it is really nice and breeding fabric for this period, maybe it was something like that. And then I have here this shirt that I actually purchased, I absolutely love this this embroidery again, it has embroidery on sleeves, these edges, this is really cute. But I think it's kind of big for me. And again, it isn't the most practical thing for me. Because uh, my dogs can easily just tear at those edgings. It's just... And it's, yeah... It is something that isn't necessarily most practical and most comfortable thing for me to wear. And also I think it's a little bit too transparent. So, which is not my style. But whatever. Maybe I'm still going to use that. I haven't... As long as I haven't cut this, I can still use it. And really... And go back to using it as a human clothes instead of making a doll clothes out of it. Now this is the story. This is my kind of um, idea of repurposing the unused human clothes as a doll clothes. And I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the idea. I hope you got some good ideas for your own hobby or crafting maybe and some of those things can really just be made into either skirts or dresses or tops for dolls just by cutting the piece out of the human clothing and wrapping it around the, the doll just you know just to maybe you really like the pattern or the fabric and it's um it's something easy to do that isn't necessarily like you don't have to know how to sew, you don't know how to 
you don't have to know how to do any kind of crafting. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye! Bye.